Hi guys, it's Guido Bodenstock here and today I'm going to start a new series called Rock Guitar Quick Licks. And in this Quick Licks I'm going to show you some personal phrasing techniques, some tips and tricks, some scales, whatever. And um, the reason why I call this Quick Licks is just because you have to take it as it, as it is. I don't provide any tabs or transcription, so um, hopefully I'm not, not doing so much mistakes here. Okay, let's start with lick number one. Um, I often get asked um, how I use chromatics into my playing, or um, how, how I play inside-outside. So uh, basically I'm using two concepts most of the time. Sometimes I have another concept, but the two simple concepts that always work. Uh, let's say we're in B minor. Okay. Um, if I'm going to the last note A here and then going to the F sharp, I have a minor third. And now I can move this minor third uh, down the scale chromatically. Which sounds really, really great and it's a simple way of using inside-outside because sometimes I'm inside and sometimes an outside the scale, right? So this is one concept. The other concept uh, is uh, using chromatic passing notes. So let's say we have a basic melody here. And now I'm uh, integrating some chromatics. So instead of starting from C sharp, I start, I start one step down. I'm starting from a wrong note, which is the C here. Another wrong note. And as you see, we immediately we're getting a, a kind of a fusion jazzy touch, which is very a very simple concept, but it sounds really great because um, we're still in, on focus of the main melody here uh, with chromatic. But I have to say that um, that it, uh, chromatic playing, playing needs a little kind of certain speed because otherwise it's the wrong notes are too much on, in focus. So if you play it a little faster, the uh, wrong notes disappear a little bit in the background, right? So I do it slower, and then then you can hear it sounds kind of kind of ugly actually. If I do it a little faster, then we're getting a nice touch and we're still hearing the main melody, but the wrong notes are not so, not so much, so wrong anymore, right? Okay, um, let's take a simple lick here. For example, what I did here was actually a simple thing. I moved this two notes here chromatically until, until they are inside again. And then the other thing was Of course, you can experiment with this, as you see, as sometimes I change the, uh, the notes a little bit, but still it's the right notes are in focus. Um, as you see, try this, um, for example, also with different chords, not just only on the B minor. Try this on the G major seventh or, or maybe the, uh, the A seventh, whatever. Okay. So let me see how you like this series, or, or what you want to see in the future maybe. What you didn't like here, and uh, uh, for example, if you want to have more detailed, detailed information, uh, I'm also offering Zoom guitar lessons on my website, guidorist.com. Uh, I'm also using the Kemper Ampere, and also selling my personal 
Camper Amp profiles on my website guidorist.com. So let me know what you think and see you next time. Bye bye.